Hey there! If you're searching for the perfect place to call home in Melbourne, you're in the right spot. After exploring the city's top suburbs, I'm excited to share what makes each one special. From the luxury of South Yarra to Fitzroy's bohemian charm and Brighton's coastal beauty, I've experienced it all. Let's dive into the best places to live in Melbourne, based on what I've discovered. Let's start with South Yarra, which is known for luxury shopping, fine dining, and beautiful parks. South Yarra, just four kilometers from Melbourne's CBD, offers a vibrant mix of culture and convenience. This prestigious suburb, it's ideal for those seeking a high-end lifestyle. The area boasts easy access to public transport, making commutes effortless. With lush parks and close to top universities like Monash and RMIT, it's a prime choice for students and professionals alike. The median home price here is around 2 million, 180,000 Australian dollars with average rents of approximately 650 Australian dollars per week. Rich in cultural and recreational opportunities, South Yarra is undoubtedly one of the best places to live in Melbourne. The next stop is Fitzori, a vibrant suburb known for its eclectic mix of Victorian era terraces and modern apartments. This area is a cultural hub, famous for its cafe culture, street art, and the Melbourne Fringe Festival. Easily accessible by public transport, it's perfect for students and professionals alike. Don't miss Gertrude Street, Brunswick Street, and the iconic Fitzroy Swimming Pool. Living in Fitzroy means being at the heart of Melbourne's artistic and bohemian scene. The median home price is around 1.63 million Australian dollars, with average rents of approximately 600 Australian dollars per week. Fitzroy's unique blend of culture and convenience makes it an ideal place to live. The eighth one is Brighton, a coastal suburb offering beautiful beaches and a relaxed, family-friendly atmosphere. It's one of Melbourne's most desirable suburbs, offering a blend of luxury and comfort. Known for its stunning Victorian houses and beautiful tree-lined streets, Brighton is a hot spot for those who appreciate a touch of elegance. The suburb boasts a picturesque beach perfect for unwinding, along with numerous parks and green spaces for outdoor lovers. If you prefer staying indoors, Brighton's cozy cafes and fine dining options will surely impress. The median home price is around $930,000, with an average rent of $600 per week. Brighton truly combines coastal charm with upscale living. Next, Carlton Rich in culture and history. Carlton is a vibrant suburb near the University of Melbourne, making it a favorite for students and academics. Known for Ligon Street, the heart of Melbourne's Italian cuisine, you'll find a variety of famous cafes and restaurants serving delicious traditional dishes. Carlton is also admired for its stunning Victorian architecture, leafy parks, and tranquil gardens. With a population of around 20,000, it offers a lively yet peaceful environment. The median home price in Carlton is about $1,292,500, with an average rent of $600 per week. St. Kilda comes next. It's one of Melbourne's most vibrant and diverse suburbs. Located along the coast, it offers stunning views and a rich cultural scene. St. Kilda is famous for its iconic pier, where you can spot little penguins and enjoy breathtaking sunsets. The suburb is also home to the lively St. Kilda Beach, perfect for a day out. Nearby, you'll find attractions like Luna Park, Ackland Street Village, and the St. Kilda Botanical Gardens, offering something for everyone. The median home price here is around $959,300, while the average rent is about $500 per week. Richmond is the fifth lively area close to the city. It sits just three kilometers east of Melbourne CBD, offering a perfect blend of urban living with suburban charm. Known for its vibrant food scene, shopping, and access to world-class sporting venues like the MCG, Richmond is a favorite for many. 
The suburb features a mix of historic Victorian terraces and modern apartments. The median home price is around $1,360, $500 million, with an average rent of $650 per week. Excellent public transport, top schools, and beautiful parks make Richmond an ideal place to live, balancing lifestyle and convenience. The next place on the list is Hawthorne, a popular suburb with great schools just six kilometers east of Melbourne city center. It's a vibrant area with a mix of traditional and modern homes, leafy streets, and a strong sense of community. You'll find great cafes, galleries, and plenty of public transport options, making it easy to commute to the city in under 30 minutes. Plus, it offers the best of both worlds, a suburban feel with city convenience, the median home price is around $2.2 million, while the average rent is $700 per week. If you're looking for a balanced lifestyle, it's a top choice. The third one is Albert Park might be just what you need. Just four kilometers from the CBD, this upscale suburb offers a perfect blend of city access and natural beauty. Enjoy the stunning Albert Park golf course with its views over Port Phillip Bay or catch the excitement at the Albert Park Circuit, home to the opening race of the Formula One World Championship. Albert Park also boasts charming cafes and shops along Bridport Street and Victoria Avenue. Relax at Albert Park and Lake, or take advantage of its beautiful beach frontage. It's a peaceful retreat with everything you need right at your doorstep. With a median home price of around $2.5 million and an average rent of $1,100 per week. The second place is Clayton, a great choice for those seeking an affordable yet vibrant area in Melbourne. Known for its multicultural community, Clayton offers a diverse range of affordable, world-class food. With low average rents and a 10-minute bus ride from Huntingdale train station, it is a wonderful place for students. The area features local supermarkets with unique products and ingredients not found in typical Australian stores. With attractions like the World's Fair Pavilion and historic Hanley House, Clayton blends convenience and charm perfectly. The median home price in Clayton is around $1.2 million, and the average rent is about $550 per week. And most favorite of mine is Sea Home. 13 kilometers from Melbourne CBD, and is a great spot for students and nature lovers. It's well connected with its own railway station and several bus lines, making commuting easy. You'll find local attractions like the 100 Steps of Federation, Altona Pier, and Altona Coastal Park, offering beautiful outdoor spaces and recreational activities. With nearby colleges such as Victoria University and Greenwich English College, Sea Home provides a balanced lifestyle of tranquility and convenience. The median home price is around $1.2 million, and the average rent is $520 per week. It's perfect for those seeking a peaceful yet accessible suburban lifestyle. Thanks for joining me on this tour of the best places to live in Melbourne. Let me know in the comments which suburb you'd love to call home or if there's another area you think should be on this list. See you in the next video.